people build yeah. fauna all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's good. There we go, we have a pitch together. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why all these have got more higher high rises. Yeah. So they've been screwed columns. Completely leaning to one side. <laughs> it's funny, if you're inside, without even having, having drank one beer, you already think you're drunk because everything is <laughs> yeah. leaning to one side. This is one of the locks. Amsterdam is surrounded with locks. They, they protected the city against flooding in the past. But, uh, Nowadays they don't have really a So it's all closed off so don't need these anymore. Today it's an uh, off day. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know how you call it in English, but uh, it's the day that Jesus officially uh, went to heaven according to the Bible. So that's why on the left hand side, normally there is the, the Wafel of Line, it's the, the flea market from Amsterdam. But today it's closed because it's officially uh, an off day for Dutch people today. So there's a big market there tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Normally, uh, it's a flea market. So I'll always make a joke. Uh, it's this kind of flea market. If they steal my bike uh, today, I can come here tomorrow and I can buy my own bike there. <laughs> that yeah. kind of flea market. There's so many bikes around. Like, do they use them all? A lot of them. A lot of the bikes got flat tires. They look like they haven't been moved in years. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have about uh, 800,000 people living in Amsterdam, and we have 1.3 million bikes. So it's <laughs> yeah. an average of about uh, two bikes every person. <laughs> Here there's one houseboat for sale. That's not happening a lot. I guess it must be about 700,000, 800,000. Wow. Well, that's, that's a lot of money for a boat. That is, isn't it? Yeah. But also, as I said, no, the, boat, the boat is not worth it. It's the place that you can make it. So. Mm. Now getting on the Amstel River. You know why Amsterdam is called Amstel? Because uh, of the dam. Yeah, they built the dam, the dam the in the river Amstel. We have a lot of cities in Holland ending with the, with the name Dam. Monnikendam, Volendam, Rotterdam. Rotterdam, the main second biggest city of Holland, because they built the dam in the river Rotterdam. Here they built the dam in the river Amstel. That's why it's called Amsterdam. So. We are very good in making dams in the river and then make, name the city after them. Oh, well. Where do most of the people work? Excuse me? Where do they work? Just tourism or? Yeah, but it's also uh, Holland is a surface country now. Internet providers and all these kind of things. It's not, uh, and and uh, Holland is uh, one of the biggest exporters of agricultural products. No? If, yeah, you yeah. Can think about it. But, uh, Holland is a uh, very small country. Here yeah. Right, you <laughs> see a very nice picture. We went to that um, the horror one yesterday. That was yeah. really the ho Amsterdam dungeon. The Amsterdam dungeon. Oh. Oh, it was really, really good. That's a kind of horror thing, no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the actors were really good. Okay. Oh, it's a, it's a theatre play or something. Yeah, you go in there and they try and scare you. And they yeah. put a show on, a bit of history. Coronavirus really would have affected Amsterdam because of the 
it really would have affected Amsterdam, the virus, because of the it's a lot of tourism here, isn't there? after corona time things were going to calm down but there are even more tourists this year already than before corona time and the Amsterdam government does a lot to, <laughs> to keep tourists away no like now they started a few weeks ago a campaign in, uh, in England because in the weekends a lot of young English guys come here to get drunk in the red light district and the uh, Amsterdam government doesn't want that kind of tourism so they start a campaign to stay away but it doesn't work. You cannot take them away no, or keep them out of your city. They continue coming. So the inner city of Amsterdam, they call it an open air attraction uh, park. No? It's, uh, <laughs> because of all the tourists who are walking around. Are they trying to attract more family people than drunk young males? That's what they should like. No? Good life. also because of the, the hashish no? it's, uh, it's soft drugs it's, it's yeah. allowed to smoke here no? and it's, uh, it attracts a lot of young, young people where are you from in Australia? Brisbane, Brisbane. it's the north isn't it? yes yeah. time things were going to calm down but there are even more tourists this year already than before corona time and the Amsterdam government does a lot to, <laughs> to keep tourists away no like now they started a few weeks ago a campaign in, uh, in England because in the weekends a lot of young English guys come here to get drunk in the red light district and the Amsterdam government doesn't want that kind of tourism so they start a campaign to stay away but it doesn't work uh, you cannot, uh, you cannot uh, take them away no, or keep them out of your city. They, they continue coming. So the inner city of Amsterdam, they call it an open air attraction uh, park. No? It's, uh, <laughs> because of all the tourists who are walking around. Are they trying to attract more family people than drunk young males? That's what they should like. No? Good life. also because of the, the hashish no? it's, uh, it's soft drugs it's, it's yeah. allowed to smoke here no? and it's, uh, it attracts a lot of young, young people where are you from in Australia? Brisbane, Brisbane. it's the north isn't it? yes yeah. This little house here, it's uh, the lockkeeper's house. It's completely leaning to one side. <laughs> it's funny if you're inside without even having, having drank one beer, you already think you're drunk because everything is <laughs> yes. leaning to one side. This is one of the locks. Amsterdam is surrounded with locks, they, they protect the city against flooding in the past. But uh, nowadays, they don't have really a use for so it's all closed off, so don't need these anymore. Because uh, it's, it's 
it's kind of flea market if they steal my bike uh, today I can come here tomorrow and I can buy my own bike back. <laughs> that yeah. kind of flea market. There's so many bikes around, like do they use them all? A lot of them a lot of the bikes got flat tires, they look like they haven't been moved in years. <laughs> yeah, well we have about uh, eight hundred thousand people living in Amsterdam and we have one point three million bikes. So <laughs> yeah. that's an average of about uh, two bikes every person. <laughs> Here there's one houseboat for sale. That's not happening a lot. I guess it must be about 700,000, 800,000. Wow. That's, that's a lot of money for the boat. That is, isn't it? Yeah. Like also, as I said, no, the, boat, the boat is not worth it. It's the place that you live back in. So. Mm. So it's not a high turnover. No. No. Here we now getting on the Amstel River. You know why Amsterdam is called Amsterdam? Uh, because of the dam. Yeah, they built the dam in the river Amstel. We have a lot of cities in Holland ending with the, with the name Dam. Monnikendam, Volendam, Rotterdam. Rotterdam, the main, second biggest city of Holland. Because they built the dam in the river Rotterdam. Here they built the dam in the river Amstel, that's why it's called Amsterdam. So we are very good in making dams in the river and then make, name the city after them. Sounds real. Where do most of the people work? Excuse me? Where do they work? Just tourism or? Yeah, but it's also Holland is a surface country now. A lot of internet providers and all these kind of things. It's not, uh, and and uh, Holland is uh, one of the biggest exporters of agricultural products. No? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. can think about it, but uh, Holland is a very small country. Here yeah. Here right, you can <laughs> see a very nice picture. It's the same thing the whole year round, 30, 35 degrees, the whole year round. How do you come here then? This is freezing. Yeah, I used to ride last Sunday. <laughs> oh. I, 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 every year I work a few months. Uh, I, I really like to do this job. So uh, we have our business in, in, in Brazil, but in the summertime I, I, I work a few months here to earn some euro. Yes. Wow. And, uh, and also because I simply, I'm born and raised in this city. Be skipper in this city is simply I, I love it. I simply like it to take go down to show the city. Does it take a lot to be a skipper here? Well, you have to study. Yeah, yeah. you have to study. That, that uh, depends the size of the boat that you are navigating. I'm allowed to to navigate the big ones like these ones. Yeah. I have the skipper. I have the, the license for that. But I like much more uh, the smaller ones. Much, you have much more contact. With in front of you, you see the world famous uh, skinny bridge, we call it. <laughs> well, for us, we think it's world famous, but it's not. <laughs> but it became famous because of this movie from uh, James Bond, Diamonds Are Forever. And this bridge appears in that movie. It'd rarely open up, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because this this bridge is open now because they're doing some construction work. But the big ships to go to the countryside from from Holland, they make this curve here, and then like this, they go to the Amstel River, go to the other big rivers of Holland. And it's very funny because there's this one and that one. They are open manually, so uh, the bridge keeper uh, on his bike opens first. That depends where the boat is coming from. Opens this one. Boat is passing. 
close it, put step <laughs> on the bike, goes quickly to that one, opens it and closes it again. So that's very funny uh, when that happens. Uh, because you can see the bridge keeper uh, biking like crazy. <laughs> a lot of private boats also because people are free and they have their own boat and then they like to just make a tour for the sea <coughs> yeah the birds are ne yeah, nesting everywhere Excuse the birds are nesting everywhere yeah, yeah. No, no snow. snow at all. Oh, no. Climate change. Snow would be better to keep the warmth in. <laughs> snow would be warmer because it'd keep the warmth in, wouldn't it? <laughs> Instead of the wind you get here. Feed on that fella. Every time the tide changed, they'd have to come and open the locks up. the windmill tour we're supposed to do a windmills yesterday yeah, but we but missed it well then you are really on holiday when these things happen yeah, <laughs> you lose control of time that's yeah. the best thing that can happen if you're on holidays yeah I forgot what day it was I have to look at the excel sheet a bit more Unless they haven't got any boats outside of there. Oh, later on you will see. Then everybody's sitting outside, and then these uh, typical uh, expensive boats are uh, alongside. Everybody drinking champagne or whatever. <laughs>
how you call this in English? Sideways? Yep. The sideways of the canals, they all have to be um, uh, renewed. Because they were they were made in the 17th century and of course they are not made for all the traffic that is passing nowadays. So maybe you notice already in the inner city there are a lot of uh, canals but they have these, these iron things in front. Yeah, I saw them. Yeah, and it's because in the next years it's going to be a millions and millions investment from the Amsterdam government because all of them have to be uh, restored. So the walls are caving in? Yeah, they're falling in. Tipping over. It'd be expensive to have a car here. To buy a car to have it? Yeah, both. I, I don't know uh, <laughs> what means expensive. I, if compared with Australia, maybe. I don't know. I don't have a car myself, so. Mm. Um, what do we pay, like, to you to be. But you know, it's gasoline, for example, it's uh, one liter, one seven euros. So uh, I don't know what the yeah. uh, Australia Yeah, that's. 170 so Australian that's it's expensive in Australia no, 170 no, that's about $2.20 <coughs> yeah we run about a dollar ninety a litre yeah, it's about the same I thought it'd be like I thought they would have charged a lot cheaper than England cheaper yeah, yeah England's you just came from England yes yeah. Yeah. Raining or it was okay? It was okay, some, some days raining. You went to the Scottish Highlands? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we drove a bit. We drove from um, Winchester down up to the Highlands. Yeah. Nice. Six hours. For how long uh, you will be on the road to go back to Australia? Seven, uh, seven weeks. Seven months? Seven, seven weeks. Whoa. Seven weeks. Yeah, it just takes so much to get over here. Yeah. It takes so many planes to get here. You might as well yeah. do a big trip. Yeah. Yeah. Because you said there's not straight flights from there from Brisbane to Europe. No, no. Two, normally two <coughs> flights. Two? Two flights to get here. To Singapore and then uh, Singapore, yeah. then London yeah. or Dubai, yeah. London. Yeah. Well, I took you here because what you will see after the bridge is also a very beautiful place in Amsterdam. <coughs> in front of England 200 years ago. Hi. And on the left you see Nemo. If you want to go in the end of the day, you want to have a nice view from the city of Amsterdam. Yeah. Just go up. <coughs> you can sit there. There's even also a restaurant. And uh, just relax and have a nice view from the city. It's the science machine from Amsterdam. It's very nice for children. What's the big paddle on the side? Excuse me? 
the big paddle hanging off yeah, the side? Yeah, uh, the uh, waters in Holland are very flat, shallow, eh? Yeah. So uh, normally a sailing ship has a keel under the boat. Yeah. But these are the typical old Dutch sailing ships. And this thing on the side, we call it the swart, the swart protects uh, the boat from drifting with the wind. The keel on the boat normally helps the boat to keep direction. It's yeah. not going like a little plastic bag yeah. with the wind. Mm. So this swart on the side helps the boat to keep direction. Uh, once it's sailing. Oh, okay. overseas it's great everyone uses it oh yeah okay. yeah it's brilliant rubber duck shops. The what? You know those little rubber ducks, the yeah. yellow. Yeah. What is I with that? They're everywhere. I don't know, I don't know. it's fashion. Uh, there's shops only with this yellow rubber ducks. I don't know, it's a good question. And, and there's it's not just, one. Everybody loves to buy them, I don't know what it is. There's heaps of, uh, yeah, every conceivable rubber duck you can think of. Yeah, yeah. Panda rubber duck, everything. <laughs> this is a copy from uh, the... The, the 
Chinese floating restaurant uh, that sunk uh, two years ago in Hong Kong. And they had a nice uh, funny story to say because when the opening uh, of the boat was done, the people uh, uh, all got bad feet. <laughs> of, uh, first of all, uh, 300 Dutch people weighed more than 300 Chinese people. <laughs> and the one in Hong Kong is, is floating on uh, salty water and this one is floating on sweet water. So that uh, the architects didn't think about it. They have even a, a, a robot inside here. I did expect the water to come up at high tide and flood the place. In you Venice, should. I expected that high tide, the water to come up and yeah. flood. That happens in Venice. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Like but they're, they're still connected to the whole sea. We are not connected anymore. Yeah, yes. I was waiting for it. That's why here in Venice it's all salt water. Here it's all sweet water. If it should be connected to the sea, it should be salt water. Yeah, uh, that's how I couldn't figure out why it, yeah, the water wasn't moving at any time of the day. You, you have been on this trip to Venice too? Yes. Oh yeah, nice place. Eh? Yeah, I like it. I love it. You just got to wear gum boots. Yeah. got to wear gum boots in Venice. Gum boots, what's that? Gum boots, um, boots, waterproof oh, you... boots. <laughs> yeah, it was flooding. Yeah, it oh, was yeah. coming up all in the, oh, yeah. in the all square, in the town square. The town square was full of water, and oh, all the shops yeah. were flooded. No, I think the place is sinking. Yeah, yeah. there must have been something there to protect the city. Well, you? Italy is flooded by now, eh? Even the, the Formula One, how you say it in English? Yeah. Formula One uh, is uh, cancelled oh, because of uh, the floods uh, of the, it should happen in, uh, in Italy this weekend. But it's cancelled because of the floods. Oh, yeah. uh, the, oh. Well, I have a last funny story to tell you. You see in front of you the Victoria Hotel. Yeah. It was the first hotel built when the Central Station was built uh, late 18th century. Front they built the Victoria Hotel, but as you can see, the Victoria Hotel they they're in the middle on the right side a little bit. You can see two normal houses yeah. because the owner until the day of today, the owners in these days, the owner they, they didn't want to sell their part of the Victoria Hotel. The Victoria Hotel didn't want to wait, so they built the hotel around these two houses. Oh. You can see, uh, you can see it's now a souvenir shop and uh, yeah. I did, right. that was really good. If you want to leave the tip, I would uh, appreciate it. Yeah. If we don't, it takes so much Yeah. <laughs> and I, and before um, we, um, we just did down up to the uh, highlands. Yeah. Nice. That was good. Six hours. For how long uh, you will be on the road to go back to the 
to get over here. Yeah. It takes so many planes to get here, you might as well yeah. do a big trip. Yeah. Yeah. Because you said there's not straight flights from there from Brisbane to Europe? No, no. Two, normally two <coughs> flights. Two? Two flights to get here. To Singapore and then... Uh, Singapore, to... then London yeah. or Dubai, yeah. London. Yeah. I took you here because what you will see after the bridge is also a very beautiful place in Amsterdam. <coughs> Nemo, if you want to go on the end of the day, you want to have a nice view from the city of Amsterdam, yeah. just go up, <coughs> you can sit there, there's even also a restaurant, and uh, just relax and have a nice view from the city. It's the science machine from Amsterdam, it's very nice for children. the big paddle on the side? Excuse me? The big paddle hanging off yeah, the side? Uh, the uh, waters in Holland are very flat, shallow, eh? Yeah. So uh, normally a sailing ship has a keel under the boat. Yeah. But these are the typical old Dutch sailing ships. And this thing on the side, we call it the sword, the zwaard, protects uh, the boat from drifting with the wind. The keel on the boat normally helps the boat to keep direction and it's not going like a little plastic bag with the wind. So this sword on the side helps the boat to keep direction uh, once it's sailing. Oh, okay. overseas it's great everyone uses it oh yeah okay. yeah it's brilliant it's going to be a sunny weekend 
today it's still cloudy, but they say tomorrow it's getting the wind will change a little bit, so it will bring warm weather. This place is nice to remember. This uh, it's called Anika's boat. This place you can see there. Yeah. And then today all the people there are sometimes cruise ships higher as the buildings uh, docking here in Amsterdam. Little rubber ducks, the yeah. yellow. Yeah. What is this that they're everywhere? I don't know, it's fishing. Uh, there's shops all over this yellow rubber ducks. I don't know, it's a good question. And, and there's it's not one. Everybody loves to buy them. I don't know what it is. There's heaps of, uh, yeah, every conceivable rubber duck you can think of. Yeah, yeah. Panda rubber duck, everything. <laughs> this is a copy from uh, the. Chinese floating restaurant uh, that sunk uh, two years ago in Hong Kong. And it's a nice, uh, funny story to say because when the opening uh, of the boat was done, the people uh, uh, all got wet feet. <laughs> of, uh, first of all, uh, 300 Dutch people weighed more than 300 Chinese people. <laughs> and the one in Hong Kong is, is floating on. Uh, Salty water, and this one is floating on sweet water. So that's uh, fun that architects didn't think about. They have even a, a, a robot inside here that was last year on the television to serve you. Yeah, I've seen them, we got them there too. It's, yeah, it's not the same, but. I did expect the water to come up at high tide and flood the place. In you Venice, should. I expected that high tide, the water to come up and yeah. flood. That happens in Venice. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Longer. But there, there is still connected to the whole sea. We are not connected anymore. Yeah. Yes. I was waiting for it. That's why here in Venice it's all salt water. Here it's all sweet water. If it should be connected to the sea, it should be salt water. Yeah, uh, that's why I couldn't figure out why it, yeah, the water wasn't moving at any time of the day. You, you have been on this trip to Venice too? Yes. Oh yeah. Nice place. Eh? Yeah, I like it. I love it. You just got to wear gum boots. Yeah. got to wear gum boots in Venice. Gum boots? What's that? Gum boots. Um, boots. Waterproof oh, you... boots. <laughs> yeah, it was flooding. Yeah, it oh, was yeah. coming up all in the, oh, yeah. in the all square, the town square. The town square was full of water, and oh, all the shops yeah. were flooded. No, I think the place is sinking. Yeah, there must something there to put the sinking. So that you? North of Italy is flooded by now, eh? Even the, the Formula One, how you say it in English? Yeah. Formula One uh, is uh, cancelled oh, because of uh, the floods uh, of the, it should happen in, uh, in Italy this weekend. But it's cancelled because of the floods. Oh, yeah. uh, oh. Well, I found a last funny story to tell you. You see in front of you the Victoria Hotel. Yeah. It was the first hotel built when the Central Station was built uh, late 18th century. Front they built the Victoria Hotel, but as you can see, 
Victoria Hotel, they, they're in the middle, on the right side a little bit, you can see two normal houses. Yeah. Because the owner, until the day of the day, the owners in these days, the owner, they, they didn't want to sell their part to the Victoria Hotel. The Victoria Hotel didn't want to wait, so they built the hotel around these two houses. Oh. You can see, you can see it's now a souvenir shop and a... Uh, yeah. I did, it was really good. If you want to leave a tip, I would uh, appreciate it. If you don't, it takes some money. Yeah. Out.